hello once the project is opened you can see uh, by clicking the first step whether the project is open or not it will uh, display the project name and uh, the message the, uh, the project the name was opened successfully then there are some action item where you, uh, you can click and you know, start your project action and on the bottom the project open project the path of the project where you have set the project will be displayed then you can enter by either clicking the project view on the right side open project view or on the left side project view you can also open the project by clicking on configure device like plc program configure technology object configure an hmi screen it depends upon what you want to do next if you open, click on right plc project uh, program uh, by default if no plc project inside uh, is selected uh, the default the last selected project will be you know displayed here so for example in my ti portal i have multiple plc you know previously i have opened the plc underscore 2 so that is by default selected then i can uh, you know work on the blocks inside that plc underscore 2 basic project or i can create new block and then i I have shown this in uh, window. If you click add new block, this uh, pop up will open where you can select. Okay, here you can give the name to the block and select the type of block you want FCA, B, or OB, or DB, or whatever. Else, you can go back always uh, by clicking, you know. Uh, pressing the escape button or click somewhere else so the cross reference the, it will show the project cross reference and where the block uses of block and memory location and dbs will be you know displayed uh, to where you can identify you know which block used uh, in which plc and the uh, the DB you say the address and so on and so forth. So uh, at the same time you have entered inside the project view, and then you can if you want to go back to pro, uh, portal view, TI portal view, you can always click on this left uh, button button portal view. So if you click, yes, you can go back here. And then device and network, it will show the device and network, uh, all the devices here. And then on the right side, there is detail view and list view or thumbnail view. So it's up to you, uh, based on your computer level, you can choose one of these three options. And then when the field is connected, you can uh, you know go online and do diagnostic of your PLC. Now, uh, in this video, I will go into uh, two tab of TI portal. Uh, if you see the left button just above the portal view, there is called details view. If you click this, there is interesting thing to note here. Now, in my TI portal, I have four PLC project under one TI portal project so TI portal project one under that there is four different PLC folder if I click one of them the PLC underscore one you see the detail view is showing all the folder available under that PLC and then if you browse uh, detail folder subfolder like program program block you will get the detail inside the program block under the detail view and then similarly if I have uh, PLC underscore 2 project if I click that on the detail view you will get the, all the folders in there and then if I select program view I will get all the uh, 
you know, data blocks, uh, function blocks, and FBs and OBs, all listed here, including the system blocks. And then if I double click on the uh, button window uh, on the detail view, for example, I want to open system block, double click on that, nothing happens. It's like, uh, uh, yes, you can open the data block from here, but you cannot open the system block from here. Uh, try right click. It's just one only for display. It's the basic work you should do from only the project tree. So this is your project tree, and you see the name project tree, and from there you should work uh, doing the project work. Now, interestingly, if you select a data block on detail view, you will see the data block structure. Then you will remember the parameter. And details now this thing also you can open and see on the right side if you double click on the data block the same thing you can see on the right side but why it is required the separate data uh, detail view this is because if you have open one block on the right side you want to compare you always click on another DB and you know compare things with the right side uh, that is open uh, data block now another interesting thing is the overview the, in the overview tab if you click things change and your uh, default display is a little bit different here but don't worry this is just uh, you know how it looks like you can always change uh, on the right side, you see details tab, list tab, and thumbnail. So don't uh, worry about how it looks like. You always uh, change to your comfort level. If you want, or if you you know comfortable with the list, uh, select list. If you need more details, click details. If uh, you know simple representation is okay for you, click thumbnail. I like details. And then in when overview is selected there is two button one is synchronized left side another is synchronized right side what does it mean if you click on the left side that means synchronize the left window now sorry us. okay so I have clicked on the left side if I click the two window will be opened but my left window that is this one will be synchronized with my project tree that means if I open a project that corresponding project uh, details will be displayed here the selected item uh, under that item the tree and folders will be displayed on the, on the left uh, table uh, for example if i select the program block under the plc underscore 2 project all the blocks will be displayed on the left side but if i change the button i switch to synchronize right side click the right button then again by clicking on the program block my uh, right window you see right window is changed just to make sure it's uh, different you see so left my left window is now fixed it's not changing anymore that's interesting point to note and this is always uh, upward it's like previous uh, you know settings previous selection and this is so the subordinate element like uh, trees but if on the right side in the two window if you select either left or right the detail view 
on the left side uh, just above the portal view will display if there is any further detail available to that selected item for example if i select parameter on this uh, synchronized left uh, side this one you see the detail of that parameter uh, dv1 db parameters block is displayed on the detail view similarly if i select the right window for example i want to select men and it has nothing to display further so it is not displaying right so for example on the right side i select db parameters so you see the details is displayed uh, under the detail view so that is uh, all about uh, this uh, detail view and overview and it's quite useful uh, when you have too many blocks to compare and see and, and jump uh, from one block to another to compare and see the description see the you know name of the parameter and correlate to the cross-referencing and so on and so forth for diagnostic purpose this is also good